in the fourth module i'll be explaining about the characteristics and the attributes that can be adapted while designing the embedded system now what is a system a system is nothing but a collection and the arrangement of different types of units that performs various functions these units are further divided into functional units and non functional units functional units are those that describes the behavior of the product or the system that is product features the functional units can be either a software components or an hardware components or combination of both for example when the user wants to open an account a mail is sent when the user wants to interact with the software or wants to enter some data in the system then he can use an input device which is nothing but an hardware components that interacts with the software components for reading the data or for processing the data so these components are basically used to describe the type of functions the unit performs there are also some of the units that are non functional in nature that describes the properties of the products such as scalability availability recoverability reliability capacity data integrity and so on these units either the functional units or the non functional units together form say quality attributes in the embedded systems now let me focus on some of the specific characteristics of the embedded systems that has to be used for developing the system these characters are applications and domain specific reactive and real time operates in arch environments distributed small size and weight power concerns so these are the some of the characteristics or the attributes that has to be used while developing the embedded system now let me explain each of these characteristics with some examples the first one is application and domain specific that is i told the embedded system is made up of several units and each of this performs a specific task for example take an example of a refrigerator if the door is not closed properly you hear a beep sound this beep sound is generated by a unit to caution the user to close the door properly the same unit that alarms the person cannot be used as a cooler to cool the refrigerator because i have a separate unit for cooling the refrigerator what i want to say is this units that makes up an embedded system should perform a 
specific task or one single task no units should perform multiple task or control multiple functionalities of the system it should be domain specific the next characteristics is whatever the embedded system you design should be proactive and react to the changes that happens in the environment to absorb these changes we use a sensors to read these changes and a processor a very good processor and an algorithm to process these inputs and gives the output through the sensors or actuators these events that happens that causes the changes and makes the embedded system to work can be either periodic or can be unpredictable events so whatever the events may be the embedded system should respond to the changes in the input and be proactive and be proactive always the next characteristics is the embedded system should operate even in the harsh environment whatever may be the type of the environment the system that you have deployed should work whether it is a dusty environment or a high temperature regions or a cold regions or the environment may be adequate to frequent vibrations and shocks whatever it is you are components that makes up the embedded system should be able to absorb these vibrations and shocks and operate according to the conditions for example if you want to deploy a system in a high temperature zone then choose the components that works or that is capable of withstanding very high temperature and never compromise with the cost while deploying the system in such environments and also keep in mind the power fluctuations the corrosions and the component agings these are the important factors that make your system to work even in the harsh environments the next important characteristics is distributed embedded system design and distributed embedded system means embedded system is a large system that is made up of several units and each of these units performs different types of functions so divide the function among various units that makes up the embedded system for example consider an atm system atm system has different types of units to carry out the function smoothly or to carry out the task smoothly for example atm has a card reader unit that is responsible for reading and validating the card it has a transaction unit for withdrawing the money it has a dispatching unit that dispatches the currency and then printing unit that prints the transaction details all these units that performs specific task and different types of task put together forms an embedded system 
So whatever the embedded system that you design should be distributed embedded system. The next important characteristics for designing an embedded system is the system should be small, precise, and weightless. A very good example I can quote is the mobile phone. If your mobile phone is large, I cannot hand, handle it. I cannot place it in my hand, keep it in my hand. So I always prefer the mobile phone that is small in size, that is weightless, which is handy, and whose shape and style is very good and attractive. Because as a customer, I like the phrase, small is beautiful, and never go for the bulky and large product. So, this is a very important characteristic that makes up an embedded system. It should be small in size and it should be of less weight. The last important characteristics of the embedded system is power. The components that makes up the system should consume less power because most of the embedded system that you design are battery operated devices. They are placed in the open environment, not inside the lab. So whatever the changes happens in the environment should be easily absorbed by your components. So while absorbing those changes, those conditions of the environment, it may so happen that your components may use more power and dissipates more heat to the environment. If the components are overheated, then we need to use a cooling fans to keep the components cool. These cooling fans may take additional space in the system, making the system bulky and heavy. So always use the components that consumes less power and dissipate less heat to the environment. In the market, there are several ultra low power components available. Use those components and also the processor that works in different power saving modes. So these are the various characteristics that you need to keep in mind while designing the embedded system and also the important characteristics I would like to describe or an important example I would like to quote for this real time and reactive is your braking system used in the car. When I apply a brake in the car, brake to the car, the car should stop immediately and instantaneously. Otherwise, it leads to the disasters. So this is one of the very, very important characteristics of the embedded system that makes your system to live in the given environment.